tell you this. If you're used to, like I was, the standard American diet, it will take about 21 days for your taste buds to change. And that's why I like the five-week program, too, because it's, you stay with it for five weeks. Because if you give, like I gave my dad some of this stuff, and, I mean, his taste buds have been hijacked. He, he no longer has any real taste other than fat and salt and sugar, which we get in most of the foods today. So if you're used to real oily stuff, if you're used to all that fat, you go, oh, and then you eat something that doesn't have it, at first you go, huh. And then the next day you go, hmm. And then the third day you go, huh. And then the fourth day you go, I like this. And then the fifth day, it just gets better and better. And now I find, like, I can't believe how many different foods there are out there that I want to try. People are always saying to me, well, what do you eat? You're like, oh, you're so deprived. And I'm like, are you kidding me? There is so much stuff available. So much stuff. And what I like to encourage people, if you're going more plant-based food, is to just stuff yourself with the good stuff. It's not about deprivation. It's not about, well, can you eat that? I was like, yeah, I can, but I don't want to. You know? It's like, don't say, well, I gave up that and that and that. What else do I have to give up? You say, oh, man, I can have this. I can have that. I can have that. And then you clean out your pantry. That's one of the first things we do in the class. You get a buddy, and you can support each other to clean out your cupboards. You can't have that stuff in your kitchen. You know, and you'll start looking at dressings in a different way. You'll start looking at this stuff and going, oh my gosh, I'm aware. In my class in Bellevue, some of the people, one night in this class, we went up to the, shh, shh, we went up to the staff kitchen, and we did a little field trip. And these were pretty young people, right? So they all had their iPhones, and they were, I said, you just Google what you find in that fridge. And there they are in the fridge, you're taking out this and that and that. And they go, oh, Microsoft serves us, or, yeah, they, they work at Microsoft, right? They say, they give us this stuff all the time. They give it to us free, right? So it's free, huh? But they go, man, that's, that's like lighter fluid. <laughs> they're looking up this stuff, and they go, oh, my gosh. You know, they just had no idea. The ingredients, what, the, the ingredients and the labels. So, of course, you know, I like no labels, right? You know, this has no label. Uh, except it does here, and that 9 means it's organic. So if you see a 9 in the label, that means it's organic. If it just says a 4 with 4 digits, it's conventional with pesticides, so 9. But anyway, yeah, you start reading ingredients, and we have a whole big segment on how to read ingredients. If you are getting something in a package, you know, and it takes some time to wean totally off. Um, you know, like, I'll eat this, and some of the stuff, it's like, okay, not ideal. You can go first class, you go, this is first class food. I want all that. Second class food, third class, fourth class, you don't want any of this stuff. You know, when I was doing that experiment, I like getting my blood work done. It's fun for me. It's like, you see the numbers, you know, hey. Um, but when I went from 417 down to normal zone, I didn't have anything out of a box. Nothing. And it's, you know, it's a little tricky, you know. It's like, oh, at first, but I really wanted to get that down, and it did. So... Yeah, I mean, the longer the word, of course, the worse it is for you. And if you don't know what it is, don't eat it. Is there a good source of information about dairy not being a good thing? I would say forks over knives is really good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And just think, would you, like, I am a natural kind of girl. You probably are, too. In nature, would you go up to a cow and go, <laughs> I mean, seriously, does that make sense to you? And if it does, go for it. <laughs> but if you go, that's a little funky. I mean, this was meant to raise a calf to a thousand pounds within six months. Why are people overweight? Well, I like the ice cream. You know, I grew up on a dairy farm, so I can say this stuff. And it makes sense to me to avoid it. I know that I feel a thousand times better without it. And there are plenty of other sources for calcium. What about